For nearly a century the aircraft carrier has ruled the seas more than just a floating airfield, it's a mobile symbol of American power and technological achievement. These massive ships are marvels of engineering, representing decades of innovation and strategic thinking. A single carrier can project military might across vast oceans, carrying an air wing stronger than many nations' entire air forces. With dozens of advanced fighter jets, helicopters, and support aircraft, it can launch powerful strikes or provide critical support anywhere in the world. When a crisis erupts, the first question in Washington is, where are the carriers? That's how central they are to U.S. strategy. Their mobility and presence allow the U.S. to respond rapidly to emerging threats or humanitarian disasters. Carriers are sovereign U.S. territory that can move anywhere international law allows, launching aircraft for missions ranging from disaster relief to full-scale combat. They serve as floating bases bringing American influence to distant shores. Fighter jets establish air superiority, ensuring control of the skies above both sea and land. Attack aircraft strike deep inland, hitting enemy targets with precision and speed, often before adversaries can react, and surveillance planes gather intelligence, all from one platform, providing commanders with real-time information and situational awareness. These ships don't sail alone, they're the heart of a carrier strike group, protected by cruisers, destroyers, and submarines. This powerful team defends the carrier from threats above, below, and on the surface. This multi-layered defense lets the carrier focus on projecting air power, even in contested waters, making it a formidable force in any conflict. The presence of a U.S. carrier can reassure allies and deter adversaries, changing the strategic calculus in any region. Its arrival signals American resolve and commitment to global stability. For allies, it's a sign of unwavering support. For foes, a formidable challenge that cannot be ignored. The carrier's mere presence can influence events without firing a shot, shaping diplomacy, and deterring aggression. Its shadow looms large over global affairs, a constant reminder of American naval dominance and the enduring reach of U.S. power across the world's oceans. The U.S. Navy believes, when it comes to aircraft carriers, bigger is always better. This philosophy has shaped the design and deployment of its fleet for decades, setting the U.S. apart from every other navy in the world. This isn't just about prestige or making a statement, it's fundamentally about capability and strategic advantage. Larger carriers can carry more aircraft, more fuel and more supplies, enabling a much higher tempo of operations and greater flexibility in mission planning. In high-stakes conflict, the ability to launch more planes, more often, can be the deciding factor between victory and defeat. Bigger ships are not only more stable in rough seas, but also more resilient to damage with ample space for extra armor, advanced technology, and redundant systems that keep them fighting even after taking hits. The large angled flight deck, an American innovation, enables simultaneous launch and recovery of aircraft, dramatically boosting operational efficiency and safety. There's more room for aircraft movement, arming, and maintenance, allowing for a relentless operational pace and rapid turnaround between missions. The immense scale of a supercarrier supports long deployments far from home, reducing reliance on foreign ports and allowing the Navy to project power globally for extended periods. It's a self-sufficient mobile base, capable of responding to crises anywhere, anytime, without waiting for support or permission. The supercarrier isn't just a warship. It's a floating symbol of American reach, determination, and technological prowess. This philosophy reflects America's global responsibilities and the need for unmatched naval power to protect its interests and allies. The result? a platform that can sustain high-tempo operations for months on end, no matter the challenge. For the U.S. Navy, size truly matters, and it's the foundation of their dominance at sea. Enter the Gerald R. Ford class, the first new American carrier design in over 40 years. This revolutionary ship marks a turning point in naval engineering, representing decades of research, innovation, and lessons learned from previous generations of carriers. While it resembles the Nimitz class at first glance, the Ford is a leap forward in technology and efficiency, setting a new standard for what a supercarrier can achieve. Its two A-1B nuclear reactors generate nearly three times the power of its predecessors, unlocking advanced systems and future upgrades. This immense power reserve ensures the Ford can support next-generation weapons, sensors, and electronic warfare systems for decades to come. The redesigned, smaller island is moved aft, opening up the flight deck for more efficient aircraft operations. This new layout streamlines the movement of aircraft, reduces bottlenecks, and allows for faster turnaround times between missions. 
This layout, plus other enhancements, boosts the sortie rate by up to 33% over the Nimitz class. More aircraft can be launched and recovered in less time, giving the Navy a decisive edge in high-tempo operations. Automation and smarter systems mean the Ford class operates with hundreds fewer crew, cutting costs and improving quality of life. Advanced controls and digital networks streamline daily operations, reducing fatigue and increasing safety for sailors. The ship is built for adaptability, with the power and space to integrate new technologies as threats evolve. Modular spaces and open architecture ensure the Ford can be upgraded quickly as new systems are developed. Every aspect, from propulsion to crew quarters, reflects a focus on efficiency, sustainability and combat power. Improved living conditions and energy-saving features make life at sea more comfortable and environmentally responsible. The Ford class is designed to dominate for the next half-century, ensuring American naval supremacy in an ever-changing world. It's not just a new ship, it's a new era for American naval power, blending tradition with cutting-edge innovation. By reducing crew size and increasing automation, the Navy frees up personnel for other critical roles, enhancing flexibility and readiness across the fleet. The Ford class is a potent, sustainable instrument of national power, ready to meet the challenges of tomorrow's oceans. The Ford class's biggest leap? Emails and AAG replacing steam catapults and hydraulic arresting wires with electromagnetic and digital systems? Emails uses electromagnetic fields to launch aircraft, offering smoother, more precise launches and less wear on planes. It can handle everything from heavy fighter jets to lightweight drones, making the carrier's air wing more versatile. AAG, the new arresting gear, uses electric motors and water twisters for safer, more reliable landings. Both systems are computer-controlled, reducing stress on aircraft and pilots and cutting maintenance needs. Emails and AAG work together to increase sortie rates, more planes in the air, faster. Their reliability means fewer delays and more combat power on demand. These innovations are at the heart of the Ford class's promise. More missions, more flexibility, and greater lethality. It's a fundamental change in how carriers fight. The future of naval aviation is here. The Ford class is packed with cutting-edge systems beyond the flight deck. Its dual-band radar fuses long-range and high-resolution tracking, giving commanders a crystal-clear view of threats. Integrated missile defenses, like evolved Sea Sparrow and rolling airframe missiles, provide layered protection against modern threats. The ship's massive electrical surplus paves the way for future upgrades, including lasers and advanced electronic warfare. Electromagnetic weapons elevators speed up the flow of bombs and missiles to the flight deck, boosting sortie rates. A fiber-optic command network ties everything together, enabling real-time data sharing and rapid decision-making. The Ford class is a digital fortress. Integrated, automated, and ready for the future. Every system is designed for speed, resilience, and adaptability. It's the most advanced warship afloat. The Ford-class supercarrier changes the game in naval warfare and global security. Its higher sortie rate means more pressure on adversaries, faster, deterring aggression before it starts. Emails and AAG enable a diverse air wing, including unmanned drones that extend the carrier's reach and resilience. This flexibility strengthens America's ability to project power and maintain stability in hot spots like the Indo-Pacific. The Ford class is built to survive and win in contested environments, countering modern anti-access strategies. It's a clear signal, the U.S. intends to maintain its naval edge. Investing in the Ford class is investing in the future of American leadership. The world's oceans remain under the watchful eye of the supercarrier. The Ford class's revolutionary tech comes at a steep price, over $13 billion for the lead ship. Cost overruns and technical hurdles, especially with emails, AAG, and weapons elevators, delayed deployment and drew criticism. Integrating so many new systems at once proved riskier than expected, but reliability is now improving. The complexity demands highly trained crews and new maintenance approaches, pushing the Navy to rethink training and logistics. Critics question whether such a massive investment is wise in an era of hypersonic missiles and advanced submarines. Some argue for smaller, cheaper carriers, but the Navy stands by the Ford class as essential for future dominance. The challenges are real but so are the rewards unmatched capability and global reach. The Ford class is a bold bet on American innovation. Its success will shape the Navy for decades. The Ford class will anchor American naval power for decades, with at least 10 planned to replace the aging Nimitz class. Lessons from the first ship are streamlining construction and improving reliability for future carriers. The Ford's vast electrical reserve is its ace, ready for lasers, railguns, and whatever comes next. 
Directed energy weapons could soon defend against missiles and drones while railguns promise new offensive power. The carrier's air wing will evolve, blending manned and unmanned aircraft for greater range and flexibility. Emails and AAG make the Ford class the perfect platform for this hybrid future. Despite predictions of the carrier's demise, the Ford class proves its enduring value. As long as global trade and American interests span the seas, the supercarrier will remain vital. The Ford class is the ultimate symbol of American resolve and reach. The horizon belongs to the supercarrier.